Well, good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, or good morning, whenever you decide to watch this. Uh, we thought we'd do a quick video on what we do on an afternoon when we have the time. And who doesn't have time for a quick cup of coffee? So we're just gonna show you how we do that, because we're kind of coffee snobs. All right. Wifey, this is Bobby Joe. What do we do? That's extremely loud. Let's skip to the next best part. It's boiling water. Ooh. Now that the coffee's ground, now what do we do? We put the grind into the filter. Into the filter. If y'all didn't know how to make coffee already, now you really will know. Hot water, and we pour over. This is what you would call a pour over, pour over coffee. coffee. And we just Ooh. do it a little bit at first. Yes, because we need to get the beans to bloom. To bloom. Yes. See, these are all these are all coffee snob lingo that you must know. Because if you don't know these things. You cannot be a true coffee snob. Oh, and also, we got some brand new mugs we really want to show you guys and give our impressions of what they are like and how they look and they got our logos on them. It's awesome. Well, there we have our mugs, guys. Uh, I kind of see it there. Let me just bring it a little closer. That's my mug. Clearly East, and that is the Weiss mug, and this is a, a Yeti mug, and I had this one done back when we had our Airbnb, and uh, you can kind of see it there, and uh, the Yeti mug, you know, it's, it's good, it's big, and it really keeps the uh, coffee or tea warm for a very, very long time. This is a little bit more uh, manageable in the hand, uh, more like a regular coffee mug. Same with the Weiss mug, uh, whether they hold heat better or worse, that is still to be determined. But guys, uh, get your own mug if you, uh, if you would like and personalize it for yourself. And uh, yeah. And if you guys want a personalized mug for yourself, you can send a design uh, to scatteredblessings.ca. My sister-in-law owns that store, so uh, you can put whatever you want on there, guys, and she'll have that done for you. There'll be a link down in the description below. Now mine's supposed to be special in a way that I can, it'll actually seal. Let's see if I can do this. Why? Okay. Okay. Right, we're gonna lock this, okay, now we're gonna lock this in place. Okay, now it's hot tea, hot coffee in here, so it's all or nothing. Wow. No leaky leaky. That's amazing. Wow. And it's got a magnet that holds it in place, so when I go to drink, it's not gonna fall on my face, it's magnetic. So I don't think I'm gonna try it with that one because that looks like it's gonna go leaky leaky. Is right. Is it is it supposed to be? Supposed to be. Wow! This one works too. You almost killed me. <laughs> yeah guys, look at that. So this is a swig mug, swig, and this is a brewmate, 
if you can see it or not brewmate and then the other one I had was a Yeti, Yeti mug I don't know. I, d I don't think this, I don't think the lid on this is supposed to do that. Pretty sure it's gonna fail. But I love this Yeti the mug. Yeti has... It's got the uh, magnetic lid as well. Okay, now flip her upside down and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not too bad, all things considering. All, all it has is that magnetic plastic cap thing. And, and guys, it's not even screwed on. Like, it's it's literally magnetic uh, clip-on. See? That's all it is. Yeah, but not that bad. That's... I mean, I would be pretty thrilled with, with, with that, too. Tastes like coffee. Let's enjoy together. Ah, oh, that's hot. <laughs> Have a good day.